Hello and welcome to Architeasy. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can create a stunning renders with Enscape in Revit. I'm going to explain you how you can set up materials and lightings, how you can set up the camera views and how you can do the post-processing in Enscape. So I'm just going to create a scene. Okay, so I have this scene in front of me and now I'm just going to open the Enscape. I didn't assign any materials or so, nothing. So we just need to go here to the Enscape tab and then start Enscape. So the first thing we have to do is to set up our camera view. I can try something like this maybe and then I will go here to the visual settings and I will change the resolution so let's say it's 1000 by 1050 okay uh, it's quite important that you have this save frame on and then I can also set up the field of view let's make it maybe to 50 degrees and then I will just make the final adjustments I think that something like this is fine and while holding shift and pressing the right button on the mouse I can adjust the daytime so maybe this daytime seems fine and then I will go here to the view management and then I'm going to create a view So what we can do now is to set up our materials and in this case I'm not going to use neither escape material I'm just uh, going to create one my own so in that purpose I went to this website freepick.com and then I took this texture and then I downloaded it so we'll go then to the manage materials and I'm going to create a new material which is going to be called let's say Architeasy Lime Stone 01 and then in appearance for the image I am going to pick that image here it comes and I will just go to apply so what I'm gonna do now I'm just going to select our floors and then because I have the same floors I'm just going to assign this limestone and then because we have the same wall type everywhere I'm going to do the same for the walls and I can do the same thing for this bed and uh, let's go back to escape so you see that we are getting the updates so it's it becomes updated uh, I'm just going to make this window a bit smaller something like this and I'm going to modify here actually to manage and then I'm going to increase this size so uh, I will make it let's say 1000 by 1000 and let's see how it's going to look like uh, so as you could see we have some kind of repetitions and uh, this means that the texture is not seamless at all what I what to do I know is that the height is 3.6 meters so I'm just going to fix this material so we have this 3.6 by 3.6 meters and let's see how it looks like now I think this seems way better uh, I just need to add material to this 
but here and I can I can for that one actually I can select this one and I can add let's see maybe maybe this copper okay it's pretty vivid so I'm going to fix it so for this copper material I will go here and I can just take let's say this and I can assign the tint color maybe let's see how now it's going to look like okay pretty dark I am very much used to work with Enscape on the two screens so now I just always need to go on and off for the Enscape so if you have two screens that's my suggestion that you have Revit on one screen then Enscape on the other okay this this maybe works and now in Enscape what we have to do is that we have to do some some uh, further adjustments so the small details could be very important and I'm going here to the visual settings so what I don't like is to have this auto exposure and I can just go here and I can make it let's say maybe 40, 53, 50, yeah, something, this is fine. Then you go to the image and I can adjust the highlights so I can just increase them so we get like more, more light to the highlighted parts and let's see for the shadows, do we want to make them stronger? Maybe something like this. And in general, this is fine, but there is something like the small detail. So you see that we have kind of the, we have the, the gap here under the bed, but we have nothing for a wall. So I'm going to, uh, to do that in Revit. I will isolate those two. And then I'm going to the wall and I'm going to create a new reveal. And then I made one profile. It's 10 by 10 millimeters. So I'm just going to place it at the bottom. Let's reset the view and go go here. So now it should be updated and you see that this look this look better. So it's like a very small part of the realism. And what I don't like is uh, that this marble is pretty yellow. So I will just go and I will try to Fix it a little bit directly here. So you can just go here to the limestone. And then I can add, I can just increase this and I can add the tint color. And maybe this made it uh, very, very, okay, maybe Let, let's make it like this. Just make it a bit brighter. So now you see it affected our scene. So uh, what we need to do is just to to make the exposure a bit a bit stronger maybe something like this and yeah i think that this is fine and what we can also do now is that we can let's say go here to revit and then escape and we can render image into document but just before that what i'm gonna do is to make this to the ultra quality and then i can just render image into document So we got our render here and then it means that you can place it on a sheet or if you would like to export it out of Enscape, you need to go here to Enscape and then you need to go here to the batch rendering, select the view and then render images and it goes out. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I have to invite you to join us to join our community on Mighty Networks. It's free and also for all of you who would like to support our work and to get the project files of our YouTube tutorials, you can do that there as well on our Patrons page. And if you would like to know how to create a home office in Revit and then amazing renders and animations from Enscape, just take a look at this video.